Hey there folks, in this video I'd like to talk about retro gaming and RetroPie. Over the past few years, RetroPie has gotten really good. For those of you who don't know, RetroPie is emulation software built for the Raspberry Pi. RetroPie includes pre-built emulators for a ton of systems. And it seems like every time a new hardware release for the Raspberry Pi comes out, RetroPie just seems to get better and better. Today, with the latest Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, most Nintendo 64 games are pretty playable and PlayStation 1 works really good and anything older than that is just works perfectly. As I kept playing with RetroPie, I really wanted a portable setup, so I went ahead and built myself a Pi Grill. It works super well for what it is, a lot of fun, fun little kit, you have to solder all the pieces together inside and the walkthrough is super easy to follow if you can get all the parts. It's usually out of stock. But my biggest complaint here are the buttons. You know, they're 3D printed. They don't quite, you know, work really good when you're really in the hardcore gaming action. You know, when you pick up a Game Boy Advance, you could pretty immediately tell that the Pi Girl buttons are not up to the same quality. And you really want to be playing on this instead of this. You know, but this is still incredibly awesome and I use it all the time. So it's pretty cool. But I really wanted to take it another step further. So I figured out you can compile RetroPie from source on an Ubuntu based machine. So I went ahead and did that here. This is my old netbook. This is an HP Mini 110. It came out in around 2009, I think. It has a 32 bit, 45 nanometer processor. It's a Intel. Atom dual core around 1.6 gigahertz has two gigabytes of RAM and by today's standards it's pretty much garbage all you can really do is edit documents SSH and browse in Midori so it's pretty pretty useless I haven't really used it for a long time but I went and checked out um, the github page for RetroPie I built it, it's very easy to do. There's two dependencies to install and uh, you check it out, run a script. This machine, it took four and a half hours for everything to compile, so you gotta be patient when it's an older system. My Ryzen, uh, AMD Ryzen system, it took about 20 minutes to build, so much different. But it works really well, so let's go ahead and fire this sucker up and take a look at some games. This has uh, Debian Jesse, Yes, uh, the latest Debian. You know, and now that the holidays are over, if you know a friend or a family member with an old machine, you know, try and pick it up from them or even go on Craigslist and get like a $40 old machine because you can really breathe some good life back into it with RetroPie. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I here just installed the LXDE desktop environment. About all this thing can handle. About all you're going to want to run on this thing. So what you're going to want to do is open up a terminal and type emulation station. Now I already copied some ROMs on here. And as you can see, the layout is exactly the same as RetroPie, the image that you download from the website. And the interface is super snappy. Let's check out some games. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the performance on this here laptop is probably equivalent to about a Raspberry Pi 2. It doesn't really run Nintendo 64 games quite that well. I mean, they work, but it's not the best. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume. I don't want a copyright strike. But for what, for what it is, you can do quite a bit with this little machine. And these netbooks are a dime a dozen, so if you got one laying around, or you know someone with one, go ahead and do what I did here, because it's a lot of fun. And the netbook is just such a good portable size, a 10 inch screen, good display, good keyboard. You really can't beat it. So just like the NES, as you can see, there is absolutely no slowdown here. It works perfectly well. And I'm not very good playing into a camera. But it works great. So I call this a win for sure. As you can probably tell, Nintendo 64 is a little sluggish when you get on a level with a lot of you know little NPCs it gets pretty slow but it works it's playable it's 
It's not the main way I'm going to get my 64 gaming done, but if you have a little more high-end laptop, it'll take this no problem. So yeah, if you're if you if you got a system that's better off than this one, I'm sure you will have no problem at all playing a ton of games. So I highly recommend it. If you have a chance to uh, spin up an old machine and and run RetroPie on it, you should give it a shot. So if you have any questions or you want to uh, compare your specs of your system, go ahead and let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back again with something else soon. Thank you.